What's up everyone and welcome to FAQ 167 Holy shit, 167? It's the first FAQ of the new year, hello! Holy shit! What? When was the first FAQ? The first FAQ was five years ago, holy shit! Five years of FAQing Should we watch a little bit FAQ Ola, hello? What did I say back then? And uh, before I start, I just want to give a shout out to Ryan Bruce or Fluff for inspiring me to do these type of videos. You should definitely go check out his channel and subscribe. That's actually so, very nice question. of me. Hey Ola, what string gauge are you using on your six string guitars? Why do I sound so sad? About 90 Ugh, okay, okay, okay. Let's just head on with the questions for today instead. That was f***ing awkward as hell Andreas Grellman Hey Ola, question for next FAQ I've been playing guitar for around 3 years now and I would say I've become relatively proficient at playing, writing riffs While I'm more interested in rhythm playing and have focused on it more than on anything else I would like to start expanding my skills to lead playing as well Do you have any suggestions for badass male solos that someone such as myself who is relatively new to lead playing can learn? That's an excellent question and I understand the struggle I mean going from rhythm to starting playing lead it's a, it's a, it's a big jump I mean the technique is completely different with playing leads there's vibrato and there's slides and hammer-ons and pull-offs and it's just like ah, it's just a lot man but I would just recommend checking out songs with easy solos in them and learn to play those I mean Nirvana has solos About a Girl has a solo, right? Uh, I think it's fairly easy, it's probably one of the first solos I learned was About a Girl by Nirvana but also check out some of the, you know, yeah, some Metallica solos I mean, some of the earlier stuff, it's hard, I know but check out the solos from the Black Album I mean, those are pretty straightforward solos and I guess the most awesome tip I can give to you is just to go very, 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 very slow the good thing for us is that there are tabs out there Read the tabs, learn how a tab works if you don't know it already It's so simple, the tab format is so simple Just get, you know, Google Metallica Solo You're good to go It's gonna be easy, man NWWR Fuck! How often do you change the strings on those guitars in the background? Definitely a catch-22 because I found they look great on the wall but it ruins the condition of the setup Strings rusting, tension adjusting to the humidity changes and other environmental changes Gravity affecting it differently when it's horizontal, etc. Legit question But the thing is that I live in Scandinavia one of the driest places on earth during winter I mean, it never gets humid here in Sweden, I mean a little bit during the summer but you know during the winters right now for instance we're at like between 15 and 20 percent humidity it sucks f***ing ass so nothing rusts here that's just that's just how it is we don't have rust problems here uh, so these strings they're probably okay they might start smell a little funky after a while I don't change strings too often on these guitars they, they, they're basically like new and with tension adjusting and you know neck adjusting because obviously guitars are gonna you know they're gonna wah! I just leave them up there so I play them during the summer and then I don't touch them on the winter because I know they go like this so it's unplayable then when I go back the next summer or <laughs> spring or whatever they're fine easy Joshua, for a future video, you could spend time addressing the satanic, occult, and pagan themes in some metal. It's worth examining that. How about no? I am scarce. How do you keep from playing the same thing every time you pick up the guitar? I find myself getting extremely bored of my own playing, and there aren't really any songs I want to learn anymore. Thank God. There's another dude in town who gets bored of his own playing. Have you ever seen a demo of mine? Well, you won't notice if you've just seen one demo but have you seen two demos of mine? Then you'll definitely notice that I'm all out of ideas I mean, that's just how it is You know, I can sit off camera and play like the most amazing leads and all that and then when you sit with a camera in front of you all of that is gone You only play that stupid shit riff that I always play <laughs> and uh, that's, I mean, that's, that's just something I accepted and you know, people have something called like the Ola riff uh, that I always play. I, I'm still not exactly sure what it is, but you know, there there is something that people call the Ola riff, and uh, that's just how it is. It's uh, you know the, the 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 riff that I play when I try shit out. Basically, you know that E G D yeah, very common that I play that because you know I play those because I just want to hear how 
an amplifier reacts to a full chord of a you know on a, all the strings on the guitar. So uh, yeah, I, I know it's it's just a habit, man. So it's okay, it's okay. Marcus, now I think Ola is a great rhythm guitarist, but his bends are a little lifeless. Now, that hurts, man. That's basically the absolute worst you can say to a guitar player that his bends are a little lifeless or out of tune. <laughs> that hurts, man. That hurts. But thank you, Gabriel Stevens. Fuck, what was the process for working with Jeff Loomis on Balegma? Was there a creative back and forth or did he just tear it up and send the track to you? Okay, well, first of all, I called. <sighs> Just have to drink some coffee. Chug life, baby. Everything just tastes better in a chug life cup. From oldenglandshop.com. Ah, oh, shit. You know what? I just sent him the track and told him like, okay, please play between here and here. And he's like, sure, okay. Two days later, he comes back to me with the finished solo. And I mean, it's the best solo on my solo album. <laughs> I, how can I argue with that? I can't. I mean, he's just one of the best, man, and uh, I'm so happy that he's playing on my album. It's a, it's a true honor. I mean, Nevermore, man. I'm such a big fan. It's it's crazy, man. It's Jeff Loomis. Michael Legore, Ole Fack, Eola, Grains from Utah. Do you have any preference between down picking versus alternate picking a riff? Guys like Jace Hetfield and Matt Heapy are incredible down pickers and make it sound so tight. But of course, using alternate picking can really make a riff more feasible to play and you don't get fatigued as quickly. Do you think there's a difference in sounds uh, or is it all about just making sure you're playing cleanly? That's a legit question. Obviously, down picking is gonna sound different from alternate picking. There's no question. It depends where, too. I mean, if you're going zeros, and a lot of staccato and you know did, 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 did. you want a lot of down picking because you know it it's just tighter and it gives out more growl but the alternate you know up and down picking also has a different type of sound it's it's just a different flavor basically but it's a good legit uh, question because the uh, other guitar player for the haunted he, uh, uh, patrick jensen is also one of those incredible down pick players he he plays everything picking down and uh, while we're playing live, he's playing a lot of the stuff with Don Baker, you know, the Trespass. Why is it so too? But I'm playing it a little mixed, you know, a little bit of down picking, a little bit of alternate. So I start with down pick. So I'm definitely saving a little bit of energy by <laughs> switching it up a little bit. That's just how I play. And you know, these guys that you mentioned, James Hetfield and Matt Heafy, that are incredible with the down picking and rhythm gods. I mean, Dimebag was also a rhythm god and he was not really that much into down picking. He was using a lot of alternate picking. A lot of the stuff that he was doing was just... He did a lot of upstrokes. For instance, the cover of metal riff here. A lot of people will play that with down picking. But he plays it with upstroke, so. It, it's a little weird, man. So, uh. I mean, it's just a flavor, man. It's just a flavor, but sometimes some people really push the fact that you have to be a man and down pick. Like a man. And, you know, that's okay. They can think like that. I don't care. I play both. <laughs> Paul McGrady. Fuck, would you consider releasing a tab book for your latest album? Would love to learn your stuff. There is a tab book for my latest album. How about that? Do I have one here? No. I had this Pantera one. Just imagine it looks like this, but with my cover art on it and uh, shittier solos. That's my album right there. And <laughs> Tabuk. Sanjari Jamshed. Hey Ola, have you ever checked the YouTuber Burnt out? He is amazing. No! I have not checked him out. Let's do it right now. I have definitely heard about the guy. Let's check him out. I might even have spoken to him. I don't know. But uh, I don't remember. What is he doing? Paganini. 
Holy shit, what? That is the most amazing light show I've seen. Almost. Almost. That's very beautiful. Does he have any other videos? Oh, is it mostly... Oh, shit. Stop playing like this. What? I'd like to talk about the top six worst guitar technique mistakes that I encountered both with my own playing and with my students. Oh, so he's guitar. a guitar teacher. Okay. I think I know that he was a guitar teacher. Guitar and in today's video, I'd like to show you some very... What the hell is this setup? ...exercises that will help that, you. That has to be a green screen, man. Or what? Is this really his room? That's an incredible stage right there. Is so it from Austria? All, yes, what the f is this background? It's incredible. Okay, this, this video has one and a half million views, so he's probably saying something really good. Left hand thumb. As I'm quite sure you know already, your hands it's are this one. to grab possible if you're playing like this, for example. What? Does he have his... Does he have the guitar pick in his ear? If you're playing like this, for example. What the f is... What is... Where are you putting your ear? You oh, it's the inner. Like <laughs> Sorry. If you're working with your entire arm when you're picking and you completely lock up your wrist, you will encounter multiple problems. You will have issues That's me right there. String transitions. That is me. Be able to feel the I definitely have this problem. This is your default. That is me, right there. <laughs> like a shortcut to faster tempos in the beginning because it's easier to gain momentum when you rely on... All right, well, he got me. That's... Okay, I'm subbing to this guy. He pointed out a mistake. Am I gonna fix it? Probably not. But I checked out his YouTube channel. That's burnt, everyone. Go subscribe. Sick Vicious. There's no rule book to this music shit. But one thing I know is that you have to, have to, have to love this shit. Love the Mel. And that's it. No dollar signs behind it. Right on, man. Good for you. Alessandro Arcelli, just wondering, what do you call an American B? A USB. Shahar Bar, hey Ola, you're in handsome down. <laughs> that last question was, uh, yeah. hello. Shahar Bar, hey Ola, you're a handsome devil, but just wondering, have you ever considered getting braces? Yes! I've actually always needed braces, ever since I was a kid. Uh, my teeth are fucking... Like this. And they wanted me to put braces in when I was a teenager, I said no. And uh, then they wanted to split my skull to fix my upper bite. Or like I have a, what do you call it, an overbite. Uh, they will split my jaw to fix that. I was like, no, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> not today. And then not too long ago, I was uh, at the dentist with my son. And my son has incredible fear of the dentist, unfortunately. Uh, we're working on it, we're working on it. But the dentist told him, told me, that he would probably need braces, like within a year. I figured, because my son is such, so afraid of the dentist, that, you know, maybe it would be easier if I finally took the bull by the horn and got myself braces and, you know, we could do it together kind of deal. So I decided to go and check out the options today because back in the day when I was a kid the options were the, the rails and uh, now there's this uh, this new thing that's uh, in, called Invisalign uh, which is basically the same thing. It's bracers but you can take them out and you don't have to you know think about what you're eating what not. Just have them in, in at all times. I'm actually wearing them right now. So I'm in the process of you know correcting this beautiful, <laughs> beautiful mouth right here. I felt that if my son is going to go through this, I want to be able to know exactly what he's going through. You could say that uh, I would be vain for doing that. That's okay. Nothing wrong about wanting to take care of yourself, but it's also a little bit because of my son, because I, I, I want to be able to go through what he would go through in a year or so. <laughs> At this point, I don't think he'll be able to do it because, uh, you know, installing these was not the easiest and, and uh, yeah. So, I, I think at this point, it's better... I hear a dog. Hello. Hunden. Ah! Hunden. Pixie.
<laughs> great, great, great. It's my dog, everyone. It's Pix. Hello. It's my beautiful dog. Hey, son. Yo. Did it roll it? Uh, did, did I answer the question? Yes. Simax Jigel. Of course you can hear what a riff will sound like in a complete song. You have no musical talent, taste, and an elephant obviously pissed on your ears during infancy. <laughs> Which just goes to show that anyone can make it in music. That's actually very creative. An elephant obviously pissed on your ears during infancy. Well, that's a shame. But isn't it good news that that means that anyone can make it in music? I mean, that's a positive thing. Let's make it positive, okay? Thank you so much, Pix. You just came in the right moment. We're just about to end. Your owner is a talentless f**k. How do you feel about that? Yeah. Let it blow. Come. Wee. Your owner is a talentless. Guys, thank you so much for all the beautiful questions that you had. Please, if you have more questions, put them in the comment section of this video and I might feature you in the next FBQ video. Hope you liked it, okay? Thank you for watching. Goodbye. You lick me, but I can lick you equally as much.